CPA stands for Concrete Pictorial Abstract, and it recognizes that to understand a piece of mathematics, you can view it from different angles. C stands for concrete. That could be the physical manipulation of objects such as counters or cubes or shells or other natural materials uh, to engage in the mathematics. The P stands for pictorial, so that could be the typical diagrams a teacher would draw to make sense of the math that's going on, such as a number line or an array or other geometrical constructions. And the A stands for abstract, which are the numerical calculations and the methodologies of calculation methods as they go through the process. You can see it throughout Max Maths. For example, on this page, there's a prompt for how to use the concrete materials and how they transform. There's a pictorial version of how the digits change in this particular calculation and then there are abstract calculations down here for the pupil to use to develop fluency alongside that. The CPA approach recognises that to understand how a bit of mathematics works, you can get the meaning by how the concrete relates to the pictorial and how the abstract calculation relates to both of those. So it enables students to have, as well as having fluency in the abstract calculations, a deep understanding of how it works and why it works and then they're able to think flexibly when they approach a, solving a problem or have to adapt a method for a slightly unusual calculation. It gives the teacher a lot of flexibility in how they approach teaching a certain concept. So rather than relying on rote learning or relying on the students already having the abstract calculations uh, fully understood, it enables them to have discussions about how a concept works where it might have tricky aspects that need exploring in further avenues. The pictorial part is a really good hook for classroom discussions and being able to engage the students themselves in verbalising their reasoning and their own understanding and also give the teacher a clearer idea of which aspects need further work. It enables students to physically engage with a uh, a concept in mathematics. For example, they might use practical apparatus to combine two groups and break them apart to explore uh, the kind of physical side of what addition and subtraction mean and how they're related and how they're different. It also means that they can explore with a partner, they can help each other, they can uh, use the apparatus to have a discussion and you'll see when there's apparatus like that, that one pupil will be pointing to a part and another pupil will say that and you'll see them engaging in a discussion in more depth when they've got something to hang their discussion off. Likewise with the, the visual part of it, so it could be a diagram that the teacher's using in front of the class. It is linked with the materials they've got on the desk so the teacher can demonstrate how what they're using on the number, a jump they're using on the number line relates to the physical manipulation of the objects that the pupils are making on their desks or on the carpet or out on the school grounds or whatever it happens to be. And then the abstract part is where uh, students are able to develop speed and efficiency and fluency in their calculations but with a deep understanding that they've generated from how they move the materials, how the teacher demonstrates with the diagram, perhaps how the students draw their own diagram and so pupils have a, a real deep understanding of a concept rather than just rote learning, they are able to understand. So when they come across a problem that they have to solve in a certain way or a particularly tricky kind of calculation, they have that flexibility of thinking that enables them to be able to solve the problem rather than try and remember the process they think they have to do. Max Maths has a series of free online teacher guides that supports teachers to use Max Maths with their class. There are prompts for questions to use with the class, there are ideas for scaffolding where some of the learning is tricky, and there are learning objectives to link back to the OECS standards and understand how the series fits in with the curriculum.